Hi everyone, this is Professor Benjamin. Um, I am making a roundup this week um, on language, uh, but I also am want to just, of course, address what's going on currently with the COVID-19 virus. So right now, um, this class will go on as usual, so do not expect any differences in the way the class has run. It will stay the same throughout the rest of the semester unless we are directed otherwise by the college or by health organizations. Um, so you guys are in a great boat because you've already understand how the course is set up and how we will move forward with the course. Okay, uh, if if we're directed otherwise, of course, I'll let you know as soon as possible. So same due dates, same projected timeline for this um, for this course, and hopefully we'll be able to see some of you walk across the stage at graduation. So for right now, the college has given leeway to professors to decide how they want to um, how they want to administer their courses for the rest of the semester. And so since this is online format, we'll continue in the same format that we've been going all semester. Um, please take care of your loved ones. Please stay at home. That's the whole point of, uh, of us canceling classes is that you're not out all over, um, that you are kind of uh, limiting that social networking um, that you usually take place in. Um, so if you have any questions, of course, during this time, um, uncertain time, make sure you reach out and ask questions. I also would like you to reach out before something happens rather than after. So if you are feeling sick or whatever it is, I, you know, if a, an explosion happens uh, of cases in Philadelphia and you are one of those individuals, please make me aware before rather than after, and then we will take steps from that point forward. Um, as of right now, there are no confirmed cases with students or faculty members at CCP, um, so hopefully that stays that way. Last week we covered language and a lot of you did a great job on your forum post. So you spoke about the English only mandate. Um, one of the big issues with having um, a country that has more than one main language is the issue of economics. So it is very costly to have a multilingual, uh, not have an English only or a different or a Mandarin only, or a German only, right? The reason is, is it costs more money for the country to operate because they need to make sure that everything is in those two languages. Now, while I know that most of our forms and documents are listed in multiple languages, this means street signs, money, all sorts of things would have to be in two languages. And so that increases the cost to the government and then to the country. So that is why a lot of times countries pick one language as their main language. They may, um, they may like in the United States, give preference to more than one language. So for example, if you call any of the main government phone numbers or their websites, you can convert them into other languages. The reason that, um, but if you've noticed, our money is in one language, and so is most of our signs um, in terms of streets or highways, etc. So that is where um, the costs come into play. Okay, so there you go. Um, another thing is lost languages. So it is really amazing how we are losing languages as we speak. There is a wonderful, if you go to the library's website, and so I'm going to just quickly log in to the library. They're going to make me log in again because I've been out of the session for a little bit. But um, if you go to, of course, because I'm already logged in. So let me log out and let me log in again. Um, if you go to the library's website, there is a wonderful, uh, if you haven't been to it yet, but there is a, a series of wonderful documentaries um, that are available to students. And so I want to quickly show you where the documentaries are, because some of you actually are completing your final research project on languages. So if you go to the library website and you click on here student and you go to the library website and you um, go to the databases that are available, there is the Avon, which is um, documentary. So if you go here and you list the A to B databases, you'll see popular databases here, academic video online, Avon website. If you go here, you can actually um, access tons of different documentaries. And if you look at lost languages, um, so in my in-class, uh, we watched this 
lost language uh, videos and these are really really interesting I mean I know some of them can be a little bit boring but these this video is a wonderful video um, if you're here and it's about 28 minutes and they show you some of the languages that are being lost or have been lost so this is a really good uh, video if you want to reference something in your final paper so that brings me to your final paper your final paper is going to go on as normal so you're gonna have a draft and then your final paper the college will be open um, for essential employees. In fact, some of your professors are probably still holding classes, um, but you want to make sure that you you can access the databases, and you can do that. Um, so I see no problems. There's also eBooks that you can secure. So I see no problems with you being able to finish your final paper in this class. All right. So this week uh, coming up, we're going to cover religion and your last assignment of the semester. Uh, remember, we had four assignments due, and this will be your last assignment of the semester. So we had the population assignment. We had um, the political geography assignment. We had urban patterns assignment and religion will be your last assignment. Here's a walkthrough of the religion assignment. So if you have any questions about what my expectations are for the religion assignment, it's here. But here is the religion assignment. You're going to make a PowerPoint. Um, make sure that you check every all the boxes that I of for information that I request for the religion assignment so this week we're gonna uh, spend a lot of time on religion I'll walk you through a couple of the forum questions that you're gonna have to answer for religion um, as usual your initial post is due by Tuesday response post due by Thursday quiz due by Sunday and then of course your assignment will be due by Sunday as well so here are the questions that are listed under the forum post um, and that is um, is that why do ethnic religions only cluster in the region in which they were originated how has contemporary distribution aided in the spread of ethnic religions so globalization how has globalization helped spread ethnic religions um, and this is a really great topic I have tons of students uh, not tons but I have a significant amount of students in a lot of my other classes and we discuss religions um, so Bangladesh has a lot of different ethnic religions in Africa there's tons of ethnic religions um, and so and a lot of these ethnic religions now are migrating to other parts of the world and the reason for that is globalization so people are able to move more freely about um, and then they bring the religion with them so that's a, a good question to answer why are religious branches created this is a great question especially now in light of the um, Catholic Church scandals that are taking place um, is that there has been talk about maybe a split in the Catholic Church I know it would probably take an enormous amount of strength to have that happen but there has been some talks about creating new branches or new sects of the Catholic religion um, where people split and there are different rules uh, for it but this has happened in the past and so this is how new religious branches are created so take a look at that um, the social media campaign to demonstrate peace in Gaza went viral in 2014 does social media have the ability to bring about change with religious conflict uh, in future generations and so while this seems like an opinion question I would like you to use factual basis in it to answer the question um, and social media has been used uh, it's been used in a lot of um, situations um, sometimes of course the government squashes the use of social media um, but in a lot of cases it actually has has helped to bring light to what's going on um, the Arab Spring situations as such so uh, I would like you to look into information and answer that question and then the last question um, talks about how religion has been used as a weapon of war for history's sake um, and Kofi Annan made this fantastic statement about religion um, and I would like you to comment on this and of course bring factual basis to it so the comment made by Kofi Annan is religion sadly has been misused throughout history in the case of division discrimination and even death from antiquity through the Crusades to the present day religion has been distorted turned from a personal matter of faith and sustenance into a weapon of power and corrosion uh, the cry of the soul for meaning and for God has been drowned out by the battle cry of those claiming to have God on their side and so I would like you to comment on that comment on that statement by Kofi Annan and whether you believe uh, disagree or why um, and make sure sure you don't have I in there because we don't want this to turn personal but we would like you to answer that question 
okay so remember initial post due by Tuesday response post due by Thursday um, quiz due by Sunday as well as your last assignment for the semester your religion assignment will be due by Sunday 1159 as well um, a look ahead we're going to cover ethnicity the following week the last week in March you will also have your first draft due of your paper so please start working on that now um, and then you will will cover folk and popular culture development and globalization and then you're given a little bit of time to work on your final paper before the final submittal of your final paper and then you will have your forum post due on your final paper where you tell everybody else in the class what you did your paper on okay um, of course I know these are uncertain times and stressful so if you have any questions or concerns remember please reach out before rather than later um, but as um, but because this class is an on online format we'll just continue as usual with um, the delivery method for this class have a fantastic week stay safe keep washing your hands um, and again any questions feel free to reach out